The stash underneath many hundreds of sacks of sugar is a significant find for the Panama authorities. No wonder the president is having a personal tour inside the North Korean ship. This is, they claim, a sophisticated weapons system, one which North Korea is banned from buying, selling or moving. It's extremely sophisticated. It appears that these are aerial or defence missiles. We don't know what's in the other containers, but we'll have to take out all the sugar to determine what's inside this ship. Panama is a peaceful country, not one of war. Analysts around the world are now looking at these images. It is, we're told, a control radar, probably an old Soviet one and part of a surface-to-air missile system. What's not clear is how much more kit is yet to be found or why it was all being moved from Cuba to North Korea. The ship owned by North Korea is the Chong Chon Gang. We know it left Cuba on or around the 8th of July. From there, it sailed south towards the Panama Canal. It had planned to travel through it and right across the Pacific to North Korea. But just short of the canal, on the Atlantic side, it was stopped. Customs officers boarded, suspecting drugs, and searched the ship for several days. Some of the 35-strong crew put up a fight. The captain is said to have attempted suicide. A UN team has now been asked to inspect the cargo. They'll need to establish who exactly it belongs to. One possibility is that the North Koreans are upgrading this system for the Cubans. It was being transported in a ship that was transporting a cargo of sugar. North Korea, we know, has an ongoing food, sec food security situation. The alternative possibility that this fire control radar system is something that the North Koreans are bringing in to improve their high altitude anti-aircraft capabilities. This is why North Korea is banned from importing and exporting weapons systems. Rocket launches like this in December, combined with nuclear tests, are, according to the United Nations, a threat to global peace. North Korea's response is consistent. Repeatedly, they say they have as much right as anyone to trade weapons and radar systems to defend themselves. Back in Panama, the authorities say it will take some time to complete their search of the ship. Mark Stone, Sky News.